Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mund and today we are going to solve some exercise questions 1 to 26, exercise 4b of chapter 4, chapter name is negative numbers and integers of class 6 of composite mathematics textbook. If you have not subscribed to my youtube channel then please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos and please visit my blog messgrade.com. For more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBSC, ICAC, and other state boards, if you like this, uh, if you like this video, then please click the like button. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn and solve exercise questions 1 to 26, exercise 4b of chapter 4. Chapter name is negative numbers and integers, and topics are operations on integers addition of integers and subtraction of integers. Let's solve some questions. Now question number 21. If the deepest point in the sea is 11,600 meter below sea level uh, and the highest mountain top is 8,846 meter above sea level, then the difference in this elevation is which option is correct. So if the deepest point in the sea is 11,600 meter below sea level so it will be minus 11,600 meter because it is below sea level which will be represented in negative sign and the deep, and the highest mountain top is 8,846 meter above sea level above sea level will be represented in positive sign so 8,846 meter this is positive now difference in this elevation will be difference. We have to subtract this negative that is 8846 minus of minus 11600. From this highest mountain minus this deepest point in the sea. So 8846 plus of 11600 meter now this is 6 4 when we add two integers with equal sign we have to add these integers without sign first then 6 plus 8 is 6 plus 8 14 6 plus 8 14 1 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 8 10 10, 1 plus 1, 2. 20,446 meter. When we add two integers with uh, in the same sign, we have to add these integers first, then we have to place the sign of these integers. That is, both are of positive sign. Here, 8,846 and 11,600, both are positive integers. So, we have to place the sign of positive sign. Here, 20,446 meter. So, option B. So option B is the correct option. So option B. So the, uh, so the difference in this elevation is that is difference in the deepest point in the sea and the highest mountain top is 20,446 meter. So option B that is 20,446 meter is the correct answer. Option B is the correct option. Now question number 22, multiple choice questions, MCQ. The sum of two integers is 45. If one of them is minus 23, then the other is, which option is the correct option? So we have to find out. The sum of two integers is 45. If one of them is minus 23, minus 23 plus Second integer is equal to 45, sum of integer. So second integer will be 45 minus of minus 23. Sum of two integers is 45 if one of them is minus 23. So other 
uh, integer will be 45 minus of minus 23. So 45 minus of minus 8 plus 45 plus 23, 68. So option A, 68 is the correct answer. So option A. So option A is the correct option. So uh, the other integer is 68. Now question number 23 answer true or false. A. The sum of 0 and an integer is the same integer. This is true. Because when we add integers, any integers with 0, we get the same integer. The 0 plus 1 is 1. When we add 0 with minus 3, then the result will be minus 3. So the result is minus 3, the same, uh, same integer itself. So the sum of 0 and an integer is the same integer, integer this is true. Now, db. The expression minus 9 plus 11 and minus 11 plus 9 have the same value. Minus 9 plus, plus 11 is when we add two integers with a different sign, we have to subtract the smaller integer from the bigger integer. That is 11 is bigger and 9 is smaller. So 11 minus 9 is 2. And we have to place the sign of the bigger integer. 11 is positive integer. So we have to place plus sign before the integer 2. And minus 11 plus 9. When we add two integers with different sign, we have to subtract the integer, smaller integer from the bigger integer. 11 minus 9 is 2. So we have to place the sign, minus sign before the integer 2. Which is minus 11 plus 9 is minus 2. So 2 and minus 2, both are not equal. So this uh, expression minus 9 plus 11 and minus 11 plus 9 have the same value. This is false. Now option C, um, bit C, 8 minus 5, absolute value of 8 minus 5 is equal to absolute value of 8 plus absolute value of minus 5. 8 minus 5 is, this is 3 and absolute value of 8 is 8 and this is absolute value of minus 5 is 5. 8 plus 5 is 13. This LHS left hand side is 3 and right hand side is 8 plus 5 which is 13. 3 is not equal to 13. So this is false. Three not equal to thirteen. This three not equal to thirteen. LHS is three and RHS is thirteen, which is not equal. So option C, uh, so bit C that is eight minus five, is equal to a um, absolute value of eight plus absolute value of minus five. This is false. Now D, the sum of an integer and its opposite is a natural number. sum of an integer and its opposite that is if we take the integer 3 and its opposite will be minus 3 db if we take an integer 3 suppose 3 and its opposite will be minus 3 so sum sum of 3 and minus 3 0 if we take minus 5 and its opposite will be 5. Minus 5 negative of, you know, of any number is positive of that number. That is minus 5 plus 5 is 0. So sum of an integer and its opposite is a natural number. 0 is not a natural number. 0 is a whole number. Zero is a whole number. So this is a natural number. And the sum of an integer and its opposite is a natural number. This is false. This will be a whole number. Sum of an integer and its opposite is always a whole number. So the sum of a uh, sum of zero and an integer is the sum, is the same integer. This is true. The expression minus 9 plus 11 and minus 11 plus 9 have the same value. This is false. Uh, 
absolute value of 8 minus 5 is equal to absolute value of 8 plus absolute value of minus 5. This is false. And the sum of an integer and its opposite is a natural number. This is false. Now question number 24. If P and Q are the two integers such that the P is the predecessor of Q, then P minus Q is equal to 1, 0 or 2 or minus 1. Which option is correct? If P and Q are two integers, P and Q are integers, P is the predecessor of Q. P is the predecessor means before number, that is the previous number. So, P is the predecessor of Q. So, P will be Q minus 1. P is the predecessor of Q. Q minus 1 is, if uh, Q is 9, then P is the predecessor of Q will be P. P will be 9 minus 1, that is 8. If Q is, a, Q is 9, then P will be 8. P is the predecessor of 2. So, P is Q minus 1. If Q is 8, then P, P is the predecessor. P, uh, predecessor means before number, then the number will be 7. That is 7. Before, uh, before 8 is 7. So, that is 8 minus 7. 8 minus 1 is 7. So, P is will be q minus 1. Uh, if p and q are integers such so that p is the predecessor of q, then p minus q. So, p minus q will be p is q minus 1 minus q. q and minus q. If we add two integers, if we add two integers, with uh, different sign but they have equal value then the result will be 0. Q minus Q is 0. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. So option D that is minus 1 is the correct answer. So if P and Q are two integers such that the P is the predecessor of Q then P minus Q is equal to minus 1. subscribe my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubts then please write in comment section and i will reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you